So you want to look rich without having to spend too much money. Well, in this video, I've got that perfect vehicle for you. But it's not this one. Let's move around and let's find out where that car is located. Right next to me is a 2019 Lexus ES350 and today in this video I'll be taking you through the exterior design, show you what it's like inside and also tell you the pros and cons about only one of these. I'm Abdul Basit here and you are watching Kanoroma and if you're new to this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification icon so you get alerted when I make new uploads like this. Let's just dive straight into this video. So taking a look at this exterior design we can see how striking and how sharp this vehicle does look. So right in front, we have two projector headlamp right in front, and we have this striking DRL headlamp, which just looks nicer compared to the model that it replaced, uh, the previous generation, which just looks, uh, doesn't look as beautiful as this, but this just looks perfect. So this vehicle has the spindle grille, we have comb finish on the old spindle grille here, and we have a very huge Lexus badge right in front. This vehicle here just screams presence wherever it goes. That is one of the reasons why it gets so much love from many young Nigerians especially, and... This vehicle does, just doesn't seem to age. And the thing is, it does compete with the likes of the Mercedes-Benz, the BMW. Like, it does stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. And it gives them a run for their money. So coming to this side, if we notice here, this vehicle here is sitting on a 17-inch alloy wheel with black and chrome finish all around it to just give it that luxury feel. This vehicle from the exterior, it does have a subtle exterior design. It doesn't look very shouty. And we also have this solid door handle that each time you pull our hand in, the vehicle unlocks when you have your key with you. And if you push this button, the vehicle does stay locked. So if you notice from this exterior design, we have this door mirror hanging by the door panel. Well, the reason for this is to improve the aerodynamic, which helps to improve fuel economy at high speed. And we have chrome accenting here by the door panel, all through the door panel. And coming to the back here, we also still have the 17 inch alloy wheel. And this vehicle does look very beautiful from the exterior. So let's find out what it's like at the back. So here at the back, we have enough space to fit lots of items in the boot. And let's find out how the boot space is like. So this boot here opens electronically and we have lots of room here to fit so many items that I can't even think of because this boot is reasonably big for so many things. And the best thing about this boot is it also closes electronically. So with the push of a button, the boot just automatically closes it by itself and that is just simple. So coming to the rear hand here, we have LED tail lamp and we get dual exhaust pipe. So the best thing about this vehicle is you also get parking sensors all around. So it's easier for you to maneuver around tight corners and chrome accenting used here by the back, just give it that luxury feel. So let's check out what the interior is like. So stepping into this vehicle and we have Lexus biting down here to remind you each time you get into it that yes, you are sitting in a Lexus. So inside this vehicle, and it's absolutely beautiful inside, we have a round leather up steering wheel with this wood finish, this solid wood finish all around, it just give it that luxury feel. And we also get this um, chrome accenting used all around. So we have buttons on it to control things like your Bluetooth, audio system, and voice command. So we also get advanced features such as the lane keeping assist. And we also get uh, a button here for your blind spot monitoring. So areas you can really see in this vehicle this car assists you and displays it on the screen here or alerts you it beeps you each time you are coming close to an object and that is very useful in this kind of vehicle so in this vehicle we have a lot of wood finish used by the door panel center console and even down here and it just looks very lovely so we have your memory seat here at the driver's side so if you have um more than three drivers driving this vehicle you can all program your seat to individually to just set it to your individual position then we have a solid door handle here and we get a very nice gauge cluster up in front so down here we have this knob down here to control things on your infotainment screen and that's come very handy because this is not a touch screen display you control it using this knob which i really do prefer than even having the touch screen i prefer to control it because it is much easier to just use this knob down here instead of using the touch screen when you're driving on the highway so we have leather material used down here and we have a lot of stitching here which i think just feels very premium it just feels very premium here and we get a wood finish here and we also have button here for your eco mode and sport mode so this vehicle here is a v6 engine powered by 3.5 liter we have a very nice looking um cabin here we have buttons here for your independent um climate control for driver and passenger so driver and passenger can change their climate wherever they want and surprisingly you have a lexus clock 
which for an entry level luxury car i wasn't expecting to see a lexus clock but just like every other lexus luxury car like the rolls royce the mercedes benz they also get the clock so you are not left out in this lexus yes for an entry level luxury car you get the clock that is really beautiful so we also still get this chrome accenting used on the dash and we have a very solid uh dashboard here that wouldn't melt that is one thing i can tell you this dashboard here wouldn't melt they are just very solid we also get heated and cooled seats, especially when you're in a very hot temperature. So when this vehicle is very hot inside, when the seat is hot, you can just cool the seat down in time. And, you know, we've always seen this in Lexus right from 2006 when they did the IS250. We always had the um, cool seat, which I think was very nice to have in this kind of vehicle. So materials in this vehicle are top notch. But the thing is, the problem I have with this vehicle is the plastic material because there's some few plastic material used down here. It's an entry-level luxury car because we have vehicles like the IS, which are more expensive than ES. The IS, we have the GS. So if you want something more premium, if you want more premium quality, you might want to upgrade to vehicles like that. And sitting position here is perfect. So the thing is, I can see all around me and it is just very beautiful sitting at the driver's seat. So we have a lot of storage compartment inside this vehicle. We have one here, which is actually decent. This would fit lots of items in it. We have your cup holder here. We also have one here for your uh, passenger. And we also get one huge in the glove box here, which I think is, is very reasonable. One thing I never mentioned is this vehicle also comes with a heated steering wheel. So, but the thing is, we are in a very hot climate. So I don't think you'll be needing something like this. But during this kind of rainy period where your hand just becomes cold, I think that comes really handy. So let's find out what it's like at the back. So here at the back seat, you can see I have a ton of room in here. I have plenty of leg room, plenty of headroom, and quality material used in here is just top notch. Uh, we also still have this uh, wood finish all around the door panel. And the best thing about this vehicle is you can sit somewhat comfortably at this tall row. So compared to vehicles like the Mercedes-Benz E-Class or the C-Class, there's always a transmission on here because they are rear-wheel drive vehicle. But this one here is a front-wheel drive, so you don't have that obstruction down here so it's easier for a third person to sit here comfortably so down here we have air vents and we also get air vents here for cooling the feet so that's just uh the one that goes to the feet and this one is the one that just comes that just circulates around around the place and quality material using here is just perfect it's just superb so we also get um a privacy net here which i think also comes very handy for more privacy and this vehicle is just perfect inside. Just taking a look at it from where I'm sitting, everything in here is just assembled with precision. So now let's talk numbers. The Lexus ES350 I have here is powered by a 3.5 liter V6 engine, pushing out 268 horsepower and 248 pound feet of torque, sending this power to the front wheels only by a six speed shiftable automatic transmission. So this vehicle here is very reliable, very fuel efficient, and does save cost and maintenance. So if you want something that is in between, that just that is just very livable that won't just give you any stress of okay i want to fix this fix that no this car wouldn't give you any issue whatsoever because this vehicle is still based on the toyota camry it's literally based on the toyota camry like same engine same transmission so this vehicle here is just effortless like everything here is just effortless so the thing the best thing about this vehicle is it comes as a luxury vehicle so it makes life easier if you just want a stress-free vehicle this vehicle here will just serve you perfectly and the best thing about owning this vehicle is it has a very, very good resale value. So resale value on this vehicle is very strong. I'm here at the dealership and I should, I should be right at what I'm telling you. This vehicle has it. So if you buy one of these and you want to sell one liter, especially when it's in a very good condition, this car will definitely sell very well. I can tell you that from experience. <music> So that is all I have for now. Let me know your thoughts on the ES350 in the comment section down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on your notification icon so you get alerted when I make new uploads like this. I am Abdul Basit and I'll see you in my next video.